Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the open Kureli again, and we're gonna try to figure out this team. So we got the Jealous paired with the Vigoroth and the Clocks are in back. Terrible matchup in the lead here. We're gonna switch out into the Vigoroth. This Vigoroth is, as you may know, very spammy, and we are gonna try to grab some shields with this. So they are staying in, which is kind of a good sign that they don't have a answer to this Vigoroth. Luckily, this Vigroth is going to be able to either KO or grab a shield here from this Galvantula. Let's see what they end up doing. They decide to shield, that's fine. But they are going to be able to farm down, so they have a ton of energy here. Now it's, now it's just to make uh, make a decision. What kind of team do they have? We think that they have a lot of answers to this Jellicent, so we're going to sack it here. One, Discharge does get through, and then we're going to try our best to catch a move here. Hoping that this is another Discharge. Nope, ends up being the Lunge. So the Lunge right there is going to be a better result for them as they are going to debuff our attack they come back in here with the pelipper pelipper is going to be able to throw a ton of weather balls here at this point we do have the shield advantage um but we don't have the stone edge on this clock star, so we're gonna have to try to wiggle out of this situation with the sludge bomb clock star. now the sludge bomb does get used to use up some more time hoping that we can switch out at some point here nope they are going to be able to get to another weather ball. This won't KO, but it will get us into the red. We're going to switch out here into the Jellicent as soon as possible. They end up throwing a move here to use some energy. Weather ball will not KO, only Hurricane. They go for the weather ball, it doesn't quite KO. So we're going to take them out with our own Serp here. Serp is going to take out the Pelipper. Let's see what they have in the back. Ends up being the Superior. So that was a tough backline right there. Um, they did end up having a couple answers for that Jellicent, especially with this uh, Superior. Nice catch by them, but it doesn't really matter because they were going to be able to outvoke us with that superior. So GG's third opponent, unable to win that game, um, especially with that Virgo. The Virgo did a great job, but then unfortunately, number one, when we try to catch the move against that Galvantula, it ended up being the lunge instead of the discharge. So just a heads up play by my opponent. All right, here we got the Jellison versus the Weekly Top. Okay, we kind of have some neutral matchups here. We're not doing a lot of fast move damage. However, they are going to um, probably have some kind of water in the back. So we're going to switch out into the Vigoroth here to see what they have. Where you know that uh, we can survive here. So we're going to let this one go. Icy Wind does get revealed. We are one stage debuff. There's the Gudra. Okay, interesting. We got the Gudra weekly right now. Body stamp does get thrown here. We're going to be farmed down. However, we're going to try to chip away at this Gudra so that maybe we can farm down with the Jellison. At this point, we think um, that they probably have some kind of answer to this Jellison again in the back. So we're just going to throw it in right now. We shield once and look for the farm down. Okay, unfortunately, no farm down, but we're going to have to let this go. Thunder Punch does get thrown again. However, we are able to su survive it. A lot of injury in the Jellicent. We know that they still have that Wiggly and we're going to switch out immediately. They're staying in for now, which is great news for us. What could they possibly have here? They aren't switching out, so there's no water type it doesn't look like. Maybe they have some kind of fighter? Let's see. I see wind does get thrown, it does debuff our attack and we're going to over farm here. We have two sludge bombs, so this is either going to get the uh, shield or it's going to get the KO and they end up having the lantern in the back. So they did have a water, but it was running spark. This lantern here is going to have to get through this clock sire. We still have a shield, so we're going to uh, spend the shield here because they have to get to another serve to take us out. Here, we're going to try our best to catch a move. We do catch the move, which is fantastic. Um, they go for the Serp Undercharge, but that allows us to go for this Shadow Ball. This is a huge mistake because Shadow Ball takes them in range of an Earthquake, and now we're going to be able to reach this Earthquake before they get to the Serp, and boom! Down goes the Lantern right there. So, nice play by us. Able to catch that move, but able to store up that energy on that Jellison that we can fire off that Shadow Ball to get it in range of an Earthquake. Um, it, it did end up being the uh water water type in the back so that was an interesting team here we got the oh uh lick tongue and then we switch out into the bigger rod they go into their wish cash wish cash here is gonna throw on cap timing luckily the bigger rod does win that high skull does get thrown we do not get debuff so this is great for us we're gonna go for this body slam this body slam will get it low i don't think it's gonna ko nope this is a good wish cash here uh, we're gonna end up shielding here because 
we need to flip the situation and in this case the switch we know that this glider here uh, needs to potentially get low enough for a farm now so we're going to go for the body stem we get so another body stem here and this is fantastic this is going to get it low enough for a farm now or it's going to grab a shield that's exactly what happens we're going to have to tank a move probably with this jellicent no we actually shield here anticipating that it ends up being the dig they do switch out into the Lickitung. We switch out into our Clockzire. So this is going to come down to, can we flip this matchup with no shields? They are going to be able to throw these power whips. However, Clockzire are pretty tanky for what it's worth. However, it's very slow to get to this move. Earthquake does get thrown here. Does roughly 20, 20%, 25% damage. Another body stem does get thrown. And now we going to go for another Earthquake. This Earthquake will not KO, but potentially low enough for some farm our opponent here does end up switching out into the glider they are going to throw a move ends up being the dig so that's a little bit of, of a lot of energy just to take out the clock there allowing us to go for the surf here this is going to take out this glider and now with a pretty healthy jellison we are looking at a pretty good situation let's see what they throw here ends up being the power whip okay good super effective damage now it's just a race can we get to two serves now we have two serves now the question is do they have a move one serve does get thrown nope we do have the second surf for that Lickitung, and we do win the game. So GG Star opponent, our opponent uh, just top left, or just force quits the game right there, realizing that their game is over. So that's not bad, considering we had a pretty bad matchup, the Jellison versus that Lickitung, and we were able to kind of manipulate and uh, wiggle out of that situation. Here we go. We got the Jellison versus the Polyrab. Gray lead here. Definitely want to maintain alignment. They are staying in for now. Anticipating a switch, they go into their Lickitung. This is a great patchup for our Vigoroth here. This is going to be a pretty good advantage for us. We are going to farm up a ton of energy. We're going to try to throw in CAP timing here. Body Sam won't KO, but it will chip away at the Lickitung. We do get the CAP, by the way. So we are going to be able to determine um, if we need a shield next or not. We're going to farm up a ton. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to farm down. So we're going to fire off this Body Slam. Body stamp here will take out this Lickitung. And now we have this Polyrath. Minimal farm, but they are going to get a farm down. We are going to throw this Body Slam. Do we get to another Body Slam? Nope. Now we're going to have to come back in with the Jellison with a ton of energy. There are no moves that the Polyrath can throw that we have to worry about. So we're going to allow the first one to go through. Skull does get revealed. They switch out into the Guzzlord. Okay, interesting. We have the Guzzlord versus Clawstar matchup. Two pretty tanky Pokemon. The first crunch goes through. We avoid the debuff, so now we have a slight advantage. We're going to be able to throw this uh, Sludge Bomb. Now they know that we have Sludge Bomb. Um, we have to shield here because we are going to have to expend all this energy somehow, some way. Sludge Bomb does get re uh, used again. Certainly got to get the shield. It makes sense right there. And then we're going to throw this Sludge Bomb right here, right before they get to their move. Do they decide to shield or to let it go? They decide to double shield here. And now we have a decision. Are we going to let this go or are we going to try to shield we decided to let it go because we have a ton of energy on our jellison and even though shadow ball is resisted it should be enough to take it out from this range and indeed it is so we are in a great situation now we just build up to another shadow ball and we do reach the shadow ball for this polyrath is it enough boom down goes the polyrath so juju star opponent one more game excuse me we are going to see if we can end up on a good note here let's see if we can find a good matchup we got the Jellison versus the Medicham. They switch out into their Dedane. And unfortunately for them, we have the absolute worst counter for them. So that is going to be GG. So check out this team if you haven't already. And let us know if you enjoyed the video.